Hey there, welcome back. Jenna Sullivan here. I've been your wellness coach for the past six and a half weeks. We're on to week seven now in the 90 day wellness challenge. And I hope you've been enjoying this and getting a lot out of it. I encourage you to go back and check out all the different challenges so far, maybe re assess where you're at and reconfirm and reignite your passion to get well. So again, you can always go over to vitalityedu.com forward slash wellness to sign up for the full course. But I hope you've been enjoying all of this because there it's all free. Even the full course is free. So uh, we love to be able to give as much free content as possible. Uh, we do have books that go along with this. So if you are enjoying this, uh, we do. Um, thank you so much for purchasing those books. So it is over at 31oils.com forward slash wellness is the first book. The second book, which we're in right now, is 31oils.com forward slash purpose. And then we're going to get into the third book in, a, in just a couple more weeks. So I'm excited for that. So right now we're kind of diving in to kind of a precursor, if you will, to get our bodies ready for the, the um, third month. And I know that seems kind of like preemptive, but we want to really get our bodies detoxed. We want to help ourselves um, get well. And a lot of that comes from detoxing, right? To From getting things out of our body, uh, taking um, synthetics and heavy metals and things that aren't supposed to be in our bodies uh, and removing them. There's a lot of sort of drama surrounding de the word detox, and for many, many years in the past, doctors and scientists really didn't believe in the term detox. They kind of thought that was uh, not really scientific or didn't really mean anything. Interestingly now, though, they're changing their tune and realizing that um, antioxidants are real. <laughs> uh, detox, it, the, the idea and concept of detox is not just an idea and a concept, it's actual reality. So when we look at detox and we look at our liver and our renal system and really all of our systems do well when they are um, supported by antioxidants and chelating agents. So when we look at detox, we want to kind of consider two main words, chelation and metaboli metabolization, right? So like your metabolism, the way you metabolize things, the way your circulatory system works in conjunction in your lymphatic system, but also the way food sources have a natural chelation or metabolizing form when it comes to synthetics or foreign objects in our body. So what that means and what that looks like, uh, I sort of like if you have the wellness book in the opening, the opening page, it talks about essential oils essentially are these like little Pac-Man, you know, and they, they just want to go around eating up synthetics. And that's a good visual to remember because it's the same thing with antioxidants. They're going around trying to seek and destroy free radicals. So that's the general basics of detox. But people often question, well, what is detox? What is the symptoms of detox? And if I think about my body, when I am overly eating, like say processed foods or sugars, or um, you know, maybe I drank a little bit too, al too much alcohol, we kind of joke, you know, if, if that ever happens, well, how do you feel? You don't feel good. You know, if you, I think about um, Halloween. And when there's just too much sugar uh, in the house, and I'm like, oh, yay, Reese's you know, Reese's peanut butter cups, one of my favorite things, and I will just eat them all until they're gone. Like we joke in the house, the best way to get rid of something that's bad for you is just to eat it all in one day. So obviously not the healthiest um, way to look at things. It's better just not get into your house. But honestly, I, you know, I just, when I, as I've been moving forward in my life and as I've been cleaning up, the, 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 I used to be able to eat that without a problem. Now, you know, it used to be, okay, I stopped sort of eating it, it's farther in between, and I would eat it, and then I would feel bad maybe a day later. Uh, then I would feel bad maybe like a few hours later. Now, because I'm, you know, I so don't eat that like that, when I do, it's within usually minutes that I get a headache, and I feel gross, and I feel like really lethargic. And so it's interesting to me to note that as we clean up our bodies, um, our symptoms of detox and our, our feeling bad when you eat something bad or consume something bad is amplified quicker. So that's not great. You might think, well, I might as well keep a little slow drip. I, I'm not going to encourage you to do that because what happens is your body, um, my body bounces back much quicker. So that means that when I 
eat something bad and I'm being naughty, right? We kind of joke about that in our house. Like, okay, uh, mom's having, uh, you know, chocolate cake or whatever. I go into a pretty intense detox situation where I feel awful, but then I can, I can chelate it out pretty quickly. And so I've done a lot of research on what natural food items, what supplements, what even essential oils can do to help us flush our systems, rapidly detox our bodies, get rid of these things in our bodies that is not excellent for us, right? We don't want things in our in our systems that are not um, helpful. Okay, so what does this look like? Um, I, I posted recently about uh, a story of my son, right? He, he uh, was inoculated when he was, a, when he was a baby and had a really intense reaction. Well, the reaction was at home. It was not in, the, in front of the doctor. So I experienced a child that had a very high fever for about 24 hours and an extreme um, crying episode. Now, Jacob, growing up, we always joked that he was the easiest baby on the planet. Like, we got a really, really good, easy baby. <laughs> and this kid really didn't fuss about much. And when he had this one particular vaccine, he straight up went into a tailspin, and we think he had, like, um, something going on in his system that was causing some sort of pain, like maybe, maybe a major headache or something, but he was screaming his head off for four hours straight. So as a mom, you know that's a little bit disconcerting. Well, we went into the doctor. I called the nurse. They never documented it. I called her. She said, just kind of wait it out a little bit, give him some ibuprofen, right? Like all the, all the typical things. And we went in to the doctor um, about a week later to just kind of do a follow-up. And I was livid. I was so angry about this whole situation because I did more research on it and I'm like, he had a full on response. I don't know what this means moving forward. So um, we agreed that we would not do vaccines for him moving forward until he's older. And so, you know, I'm not against vaccines, I'm just against the ingredients because I, the research that I had done on them was sort of mind blowing, you know? And so it was like, okay, we spaced them out, we split them up, we did as best we could, and he had this one response. Um, even the split up was interesting too, because we split up some of the vaccines and found out that if you do this company and this split with this company and this split together on the same day, they cancel each other out. So I, w I became very good at getting all of the material. I wanted all of the packet information, I wanted the lot numbers, everything. Because that allowed me to then do additional research online and find out more information. And I remember going back to the, to the doctor's office saying, what in the world? You guys don't even read your own literature to know that you just gave my son two vaccines that canceled each other out. And they, they just kind of looked at me like, yeah. So, so this caused me to dive in and really research and try to understand what was going on in my son's body, in my body, what things we were we were putting into our bodies that could potentially be harmful. And, you know, I mean, it was one of those things where today we're dealing with the school systems not allowing us to um, go to school unless he is fully vaccinated. So I just got a phone call from the nurse saying, well, you need to have full all of them now. And I'm like, no, you guys told me not that I didn't have to have all of them now. He's not getting six shots today. And uh, she said, well, then you need that note to state that not just like polio is extended. Like, so I'm like, all right, fine. So I have my doctor writing this letter because we are spacing them out. Like who in their right mind gets all vaccines all at once, all in one day. So that doesn't make any sense because you're basically pumping your, your child or yourself full of toxins all at once. So it was interesting to me that this all happened yesterday, right on top of our week seven, where um, you know we've been really working hard, I've been working hard to make sure we have a really excellent detox methodology for us. Something where you can, you can say, okay, well, why and how and, and what am I going to do? So each of you are different. Each of you have different synthetics in your body or heavy metals or whatever from whatever that you need to flush out of your body. And the only way to track if it's flushing out of your body is to go to the doctor and get your blood work done and, and have a full physical and then start a detox and then go back to see where you're at with some of the levels in your body. So, you know, for me, it's an, a matter of I know that these things are online general information, by the way. You can find all of this content 
online, if you start researching chelation, um, natural chelators, what do they do in your body and why? So I want to just go with, through with you what you're going to do this week. And you can do this to the max or you can do it kind of minimum. So first and foremost, I'm going to show you a modified red drink. Now through this this whole challenge, we, we've been encouraging you guys to do the red drink and enjoy that. Um, this one is a little bit different because I'm going to show you ways that you can modify it. We've already done a couple other modifications, but what I'm going to do here, and this is for somebody who maybe is wanting to pull extra, extra toxins out of their body. So we know that Ninja Red is am amazing, right? So I'm going to put this in there. Um, and Ninja red is high high antioxidant power and the research done on wolfberries and understanding what those do really good for immune system support uh, sulfurzyme is the powder that we add which is MSM it's basically sulfur it's natural sulfur you have sulfur in your body and you cannot be allergic to sulfur okay so we just want to be clear on that some of you guys claim you are but you actually are allergic to sulfa which is a different allergy altogether and sulfur you, you wouldn't be able to live if you were allergic to sulfur because it's in ya <laughs> okay so this naturally helps support our liver, helps support our hair, skin, and nails, um, helps support our immune system, so this will go in there as well. The lime is really helpful in chelating, right? It's a good chelator as far as an essential oil is concerned to just help to um, pull toxins from your body. And then we're gonna use a product that Young Living doesn't carry, but it's really important um, in chelation one of the most important things in my opinion um, when it comes to trying to really protect your body from um, synthetic ingredients from inoculation or from even just um, heavy metals that you might have in your body there's a, there's plenty by the way I've got a whole laundry list of things for you to, to do um, but this is um, chlorella and so you can get it I get organic chlorella it's a really and you got to be careful with this stuff because it's a really um, intense powder but what this is is it's a broken cell wall non GMO algae okay so they're considered a single cell algae and it what it does and why it's so interesting is that it quickly multiplies in fresh water so they they have noted that chlorella and I'm gonna kind of get some out here um, is known to have the highest amount of chlorophyll so this one says one tablespoon I'm gonna use a kind of a heaping half tablespoon this is kind of what it looks like it's pretty dark and I got to be careful not to spill this all over my office so here's my water and I'm just gonna dump this in here. Okay, so it almost looks black in this light. And then I'm going to show you here, you can see it kind of making its way down the drink. It's like that, it's totally gross and weird, but um, we wanna mix this in. Again, this needs to be mixed into the fresh water. Then I'm gonna add the other ingredients. So this is really dark, right? So this is like your green drink, <laughs> which we joke, I've done this before with uh, celery, celery juice, um, some other things, and it becomes almost like a black water. But I'm gonna put my Ninja Red in here. This is like our green sludge. And then I'm going to put our Sulfurzyme in. All right, and get that Sulfurzyme in there. So we've got, I did a half a tablespoon, or half a teaspoon, excuse me, of sulfurzyme. And then we're gonna do a couple drops of lime vitality. Okay, so. Like black sludge, <laughs> right? Okay, just make sure it's nicely mixed and, and well stirred. And it's not bad. Chlorella doesn't taste bad. I think some people assume that like, whoa, that's really nasty looking. I can't possibly taste good. It doesn't, it really honestly doesn't taste like anything other than maybe, you know when you smell grass being cut, it sort of has that flavor of just a, a kind of a light, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's not that bad. It has a very mild, um, green taste so it's it's an awful looking <laughs> I don't know if you want to drink something that's black but um this is a really good chelating drink and it's a good detoxing drink because you've got these powerhouse detox in there okay so there's another um element that sometimes I would 
I would not add to this I'm gonna get to that in a second but I would add to my um, my detox and so that would be which a lot of doctors do recommend now which is the um, activated charcoal so activated charcoal you can't take with supplements so don't think that certain some of these you can just pile together so if you're gonna do activated charcoal you have to take that about an hour after you do any other supplement um, because it will kind of chelate the supplement <laughs> so it kind of makes the supplement itself ineffective but what it does is it makes any other thing you do ineffective so they say be careful about medications and stuff like that so with Jacob when we had to get a specific vaccine I did the um, activated charcoal by itself 45 minutes after so you know I possibly the next time it will be even 30 minutes after I just want um, whatever's in his body from that vaccine to just be um, eat, eaten up that's the point of it so basically when you get into this um, there's I've given you three different types of detox methods one is a simplified detox all it is is stay on the red drink for seven days I, I've given you a link to the red drink so you can look at some of the recipes and different modifications um, take a bath three to four times this week with Epsom salts just soak in a bath <laughs> with like like you know three times is fine but use like four cups don't just use like one cup use four cups like three to four full cups of Epsom salts in a warm bath and just soak for at least 20 minutes and um, that's gonna be really helpful for you and then also drink half your body weight if not more in ounces of water so typically it's a one liter per 50 pounds of body weight generally speaking if you're around 150 to 200 um, pounds you would be in the like one gallon range okay so and if you work out add a little bit more um, part of part of that is that it's simplified because it's doable for many people and and the red drink is is such a foundation for a lot of what many of you do and it's very helpful for detox and you can add other things to it right because we you can add turmeric uh, you can add um, tea, right? Sleep tea or even our tum steeped vitality uh, turmeric tea would be really good as a base. You can do a base of a green drink. So um, I have in here a, an idea for you on how to make a specific green drink. And that would be something like, you know, adding um, kale and uh, like collard greens. I mean, there's all sorts of things. Just, um, dealing with uh you know celery uh, celery juice alone you can do so there's there's any number of things that you could possibly do um, when you go over to vitality edu because that's where we have our actual um content on here and the vitality edu.com forward slash wellness is the full class or 90 days forward slash 90 days is the other part but there's another part on here and i try to each week give you uh, an kind of an extra page of content. And this week's is on detox, so obviously. So vitalityedu.com forward slash detox is gonna give you some additional content. And so part of that is I'm giving you a list of chelating foods and supplements. I'm giving you a list of essential oils that are really helpful. I'm also giving you some other things to consider. Um, and that cold pressed juice, some of you are like, well, can I just go buy it from the store sometimes if you know that that has been cold pressed and it has a really soon date on it like it's very close to when the product got there but generally speaking it's better to get a fresh cold pressed juice or do it yourself uh, masticating juicers are better but some of you do the centrifugal force um, juicers but basically you want like kale spinach chard celery cilantro cilantro is amazing at chelation um, ginger maybe with some lemon and grapefruit so those to just kind of help sweeten it up a little bit but um, just giving you a, a short list here I'm gonna kind of rattle off these things that are really helpful for chelation so first I'm gonna start with some of the Young Living supplements so if you're wondering what I would recommend for you to get if you're trying to heavy metal detox regular detox vaccine detox right there's any number of types of detoxes but these would be what I would use um, and these are what we're using for my son Ninja Red for sure Sulfurzyme Agilis you guys turmeric in and of itself is such an important chelator, so for sure use Agelis. Uh, multigreens, uh, multigreens has algae in it and some other really delightful things that are excellent chelators. Super C, we're gonna get into the Super C flush in just a minute. Amino-wise, amino acids are so important to chelation and, and detox, so get some amino-wise. 
And then also consider like Mighty Pro or Life 9. You want to support your gut. Um, Inner Defense, Immu Pro, these are, these are both things that you can um, take to support your immune system. But again, they have chelating things in them. Uh, Immu Pro has a good amount of zinc in it, plus some really good mushrooms that are super supportive of your immune system. Okay, outside, and then we had also the tea. So Steeped Vitality Turmeric Tea would be great. Outside of the Young Living product line um, for supplements, I would also recommend you getting chlorella, activated charcoal, um, elderberry, like they make it in powder form or syrup, which many of you make your own elderberry. A green tea is really good at chelation. And then also um, consider fresh garlic. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments on this one because I, it's true, like just garlic. But people think, oh, I eat garlic all the time in my meals. In order for the chelation effects of fresh garlic to work, they can't be cooked. So what you need to do is take three cloves, chop them up and or mash it up, right? So just chop and mash or just chop and let it sit for 10 minutes, like open air. Just let it sit. It kind of needs to kind of, that's part of what it does it is, is it gets these enzymes out so that when you consume it raw, uh, it works really well. So just chop it up, take it out, you know, let it sit for 10 minutes, scoop it up into a spoon and, and just eat it. I know that sounds crazy. Um, Jacob did it last night. It's not a big deal. It tastes a little bit sweet. It's interesting. Eat it and then suck something down, right? Drink something that's going to kind of flush it back and not have that taste anymore. Um, <clears throat> so try it. And some of you have said I, I get migraines from dealing with, you know, garlic. Migraine typically would happen from um, detox symptoms, right? Because if you're eating too much garlic and you don't typically eat garlic, it's detoxing you. Uh, and migraine can be a symptom of detox. But some of you, it's the aroma and the kind of flavor of it as you're eating it. It's not necessarily the digestion of it. So eating raw garlic may not give you a headache like eating cooked garlic. So try that. And if you're, if you're like, I don't even want to bother, you can actually do onions. So onions are another really great chelator. But garlic would be better. Um, and so then those are kind of the other things uh, to do. Remember, it's important that you drink a ton of water. That's so big. I also encourage you to get a minimum of eight hours of sleep um, every 24 hours. So that might mean that you are getting maybe five hours here and four hours there. It's better to get it all at the same time, but it's important for you to potentially take naps and give yourself like grace on that. Allow yourself during detox time to take naps. You're not gonna feel good. Because what detox does is it creates all these icky symptoms of like headaches and chills and fever and you feel sick. And if you've ever done a full detox, it's not, it's not fun and it's not pretty and you kinda wanna just go to sleep. So if you've never done a full detox before, allow yourself time to do it. So I wouldn't do it when you have like a presentation coming up. Do it over maybe a weekend, like start tomorrow, start on a Saturday, start sometime when you know you have time to do this. Maybe start on a Friday night, right? And, and consider that you're gonna sleep in on Saturday morning and then you're going to continue with your detox and Sunday's gonna be another day and you're gonna drink tons of water. I hear people say, well, I can't drink that much water for my job because I'm always going to the bathroom. Well, you only need about two or three days of that right amount of water in your body for your body to regulate and adjust. So if you started on Friday night drinking tons of water and you're going to have to go to the bathroom a lot and you did the same thing all day Saturday and the same thing all day Sunday, guess what? By Monday, you could drink that same amount and you have now become a camel. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but your body will adjust and you no longer, you'll be able to hold more for a longer amount of time. Uh, you know, I drink tons of and tons and tons of water and we just did a six hour drive from Mammoth and I didn't have to stop once. I mean, like that's not a, that's a long drive to not have to stop and go to the bathroom. You know, when we got home, I, I had to go, but just know it's not a huge deal. And any of you guys driving in a car more than six hours without a stop, that's not healthy. <laughs> so um, as far as your baths, like I said, try to take some baths. Try to get at least um, 30 minutes a day for five days out of the seven day detox. I want you to do this for seven days um, of like heart pumping, sweat inducing workout. Like don't just make it sort of like I'm going on a walk around the block. Try to be sweaty. 
You know, we, we went on a bike ride today with my girlfriends and, you know, we were riding and, you know, you were chit chatting and laughing and whatever. And then you get to a hill and everybody stops talking because it's work. That's what you want. You want something where you really can't talk through it. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is I want you to limit or remove. So remove would be better, but limit is, um, okay. Limit or remove all processed foods. I don't want you eating any wheat, no dairy, no processed sugar. So that might be like, oh, Jen, really, what are you doing? Again, I said limit if you can. So just, if you can't remove it all, I want you to limit it. I want you to be very um, conscientious about your dairy input, your intake on dairy, wheat, processed foods, and sugars, and try to just limit it if you can. Um, okay, so like I said, there are three three different detoxes. One is a simplified one, which we just went over. One is intermediate, which means do all the simplified stuff, but then remove or limit all acid-causing foods, right? And we just went over that. But this also means acid-causing, which would mean alcohol and coffee. So again, you decide. So you decide what you want to do. Get those 30 minutes in of exercise, get to bed early or go, or sleep in or to, and take naps. And then I want you to add the following. So you're going to add... Add jellies, multigreens, super C, amino wise, and one of the um, Life Nine or Mighty Pro, one of the um, gut supporting probiotics. Uh, the, uh, then the advanced does everything that we just talked about, but then you're going to consider adding some inner defense in the morning and immune pro before bed, right? Just adding that extra there. And then also consider taking um, a daily supplement of five drops of Juva Cleanse Vitality with some carrier, carrier oil, or you can just put those five drops under your tongue. So that's really great for, again, if you're wanting intense heavy metal detox. So that's something to consider. And then do that garlic. So for the advanced, you gotta do the garlic. Um, and then also you might consider elderberry addition, activated charcoal and chlorella. So, you know, again, I wouldn't do, I don't do chlorella on, on a regular basis. This is not a regular drink. This would be for a really intense, I need to detox my body from something bad that was in it. Um, and that's why Jacob's on that. And I don't do activated charcoal because I don't take pharmaceuticals. So, um, you know, for me, you know, I'm not getting any inoculations personally. So I don't act, I don't take activated charcoal because I don't need it personally. So that's where it's really, really important that you look at what you're doing. Are you going into a surgery? Are you doing something where you're going to have something in your body that you need to then rapidly detox? that would be your advanced level detox. So I'm giving you guys some kind of understanding of where you might need to be based on your own health. I'm not a doctor. I'm, go I'm sharing with you some stuff that we do here in our household depending on the situation. All right, as far as essential oils, and this will be it for today, is that you have several essential oils at your ready, right? Hopefully, if you have essential oils, that are really good at um, fleshing your body and helping kind of chelate, basically metabolize synthetics in your body. We know that a lot of the citrus oils like lemon and lime and grapefruit do a really excellent job at that. Uh, Juva Cleanse is one of my favorite oils when it comes to like real intense heavy metal stuff, but getting into things like cilantro and parsley and ginger and rosemary and fennel, um, vitality, celery, all those are excellent chelators. So I encourage you to just, you know, you're not doing all of them. You're just kind of figuring out what you want to do. If you want to put a couple drops in your red drink of celery, it makes for a very interesting taste. Um, do, using celery essential oil is not the same as celery juice, right? Because it's completely different. So you only need one or two drops. It's, it's not a huge amount, but if you did want to um, take more oils in the day for a detox, just keep it to around 12 or less for internal use. Um, when it came to the actual shot that Jacob got, we actually put Leadum on it specifically. We also put um, Thieves directly on it. We put uh, Juva Cleanse directly on it, but he also took Juva Cleanse and Thieves sublingually. So there's different methods and just thinking about how old the child is or yourself as an adult, how many drops, you know, really one drop is necessary. He's 12, so he had a little bit more. But again, as a mom and what I know of him and what he takes and how I understand his metabolism, he's all good. Okay, so last but not least, I wanna cover uh, C dosing. Now I call it C dosing, but it really is 
bowel tolerance and vitamin C is not anything you can overdose on and some people have asked like questioned like that's a, all of this is a lot again it's it's a lot based on what you need but you might need much less and you take them based on the directions I'm not overdosing on anything here and really like can you overdose on ninja red no um, can you overdose on vitamin C no you can't um, when you overdose if we're gonna talk about the only side effect of overdosing on vitamin C is bowel tolerance. So when you reach bowel tolerance, that means your body is now fully full of vitamin C and it cannot take any more and you get diarrhea. So what they say to do and what who they are, our doctors, is that you take vitamin C about a thousand milligrams per hour every hour on the hour until your tummy starts to rumble. You get this kind of upset kind of gassy tummy and once that happens you stop. If you keep going you will overdo it which means it will land you on the toilet with like Montezuma's revenge, right? That's what we don't want to do. Uh, but it happens and that's totally okay if that happens. So each person is different and like if you're really sick you can tolerate much more compared to if you're not you know you just have to figure out what your bowel tolerance is and all it gives you is a loose stool um, and remember if you if you go overboard you're going to end up with more than a loose stool um, so that's what bowel tolerance is for um, I was a wedding photographer for many years and my brides would often if they were sick uh, you know if you, they had the flu or the cold they would go into the doctors and they would give them IVC, so it's intravenous C, and it would knock out whatever they had. So it's one of the most effective ways to fast track an illness is to do intravenous C. Now I'm, I'm assuming you all don't have access to IVC. So that just means uh, taking super C in high doses, and my son doesn't um, swallow pills, so we have to crush them, so it's kind of a lot of crushed pills. Uh, so I can do it with our super C, but with a child I usually get cell salt, cell salts super like sea cell salts um, the salts themselves it's like um, they're buffered so you just want to make sure you get buffered C um, but super C from Young Living is fully buffered it's a beautiful brilliant um, the super C is awesome I do the chewables all day long when I'm doing a C um, dose alongside of crushing the pills or taking cell salts so just know that it's really amazing for you to consider super C dosing especially when you're trying to detox from something or trying to flush your body out and it's a it's a safe effective method that you can t ask your dollar doctor about so talk to them about what is bowel tolerance with C and they'll tell you or ask them about IVC so intravenous C it's very fascinating and all of this stuff um, I don't have any burden to give you proof of this because all of this is very accessible online uh, you can look up any of this that I'm talking about and it's very common knowledge and everything I'm sharing with you right now is not something that is like ooh nobody knows about this is all common knowledge I've just put it all together in one place okay if you want to know the difference between all of the different supplements get the supplements desk reference because it will share like for instance we have super C in two different methods one is chewable and one is a tablet and they are completely different and if you are thinking well they're the same they're not so go and get the supplements desk reference and it will help you understand the difference between all of these and what's in them and why the ingredients are in them and what those ingredients do so you can get that at 31 oils.com forward slash supplement uh, be on the lookout for a second edition coming at you this fall. So again, I hope that you're enjoying this and we will see you guys next week. Take care.